We are going to hit our week 11 preview right quick. Every week, I ask Chris four questions about the upcoming weekend. This weekend, Chris, I would like to know what you think the best games on the board are going to be this weekend. What's going to be the most exciting to watch? I mean, I think game day nailed it. I think game day nailed it. I think I think the game at Ole Miss, I, I actually have a, a free ticket offered to me right now, and I, I don't know that I can make it, which really makes me sick to my stomach. But I, I think that's going to be the most exciting game. I think you have two offensive-minded coaches. You have two quarterbacks that have definitely come into their own in Calzada and the other one, Matt Corral, who's definitively, I think, the best quarterback in college football. And and so, you know, I think there's going to be some points. Uh, and uh, I think this game's going to be a lot of fun. I do have that written down as one of my options. Uh, I think Michigan-Penn State could be a lot of fun. It's going to be very big tinsy. This game could be in the teens. I really don't expect either team to run away with this thing. So I, I expect it to be incredibly close in Happy Valley on Saturday morning. Uh, Oklahoma-Baylor, I think, could be a lot of fun. But I do wonder exactly how much losing Joey McGuire uh, hurts your team. If you're Baylor, he was very much a culture guy. And that relationship, like it may not mean anything for the X's and O's, but I do wonder what it means for momentum for the program so I think that the, there's a chance that Oklahoma can end up kind of running away with this thing. That, that, that doesn't make any sense, Gary. That just doesn't make any sense. How on earth is a culture – that guy is going to hurt you in recruiting. It's going to hurt you later in life. But that guy does nothing on that team at all. He was the defensive coordinator. No, 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 no. That's Dave Aranda's defensive coordinator. I, no, he, he was the, uh, the outside linebackers coach. Whatever. But, but, He's a defensive guy that called nothing. It, nothing is going to be affected at all by okay. missing him this week. Okay. He's a non-factor. The culture stuff is already in place. You don't lose culture over one week. True, true. I'm just talking about the it – may, maybe it has no effect on the game. Maybe there are other well, We're talking reasons. about this week, right? Yeah, no, no, no. This no. week. 100%. We're talking about two 100%. days now. I, I also think that it could just be that Oklahoma uh, is using this. I mean, they are coming off of a bye week. Oklahoma could absolutely run this team. Like and and it have nothing well, to do has, with McGuire right. or anything else. Then it has nothing to do with your 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 argument for why. Right, like, right, right. I'm just I'm I'm throwing out stuff that that's the aneurysm you know. going on in my brain right now. <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing if it'll stick, man. There are there are stuff. Yeah, well, it didn't stick. It, it, that one most certainly. Purdue Ohio State's going to be an awesome game. Also, I, I had right. that one as my next one as far as the so that do you want to talk about that for a second? Okay. I I'm very curious about this one. The the line, I, like I made the line fifteen, and and it came out like nineteen and a half, and then jumped up to twenty, and it's like still sitting at twenty. I think there's a couple of twenty ones out there. I I'm very curious, very curious about this. So I I don't like I, I, I I'm staying away from it. Obviously, as an official play, like I would take Purdue here. Like my numbers say to take Purdue, but. I think there's a few things oh, that Ohio I mean, State. I'm 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 about as balls deep into it as you can be. <laughs> that line doesn't stink though. Hell no. I mean, as bad as Ohio State. You know, you know what stink? You know what stink? You know what stink? Ohio State secondary. I, no, you got that That's right. Stink. David Bell that, should have that a field day. Stinks like a dead ass gun. Ooh, that I just I worry. I worry. You know, it, it just there's something off on that line. It. it Terrifies me. Gary, money don't make money, Gary. You worry. <laughs> the other game I got, I've got. I got real things to worry about. <laughs> I got real you. shit to worry about. Uh, the other thing, the other game that I have for best game of the weekend, Nevada going to San Diego State. Uh, I think that one could be a lot of fun. San Diego State's a uh, three-point It could favorite. be okay. We, we haven't, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to tell you the best game of the weekend because there's zero chance for it to be a dud. Okay. Zero chance. NC State Wake Forest. Yeah. Yeah. Wake that Forest is dropping 50, and we're going to see can NC State hang. You think Wake Forest will score 50 on that defense? Wake Forest has scored 50 almost every weekend, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think they're going to score 50. I, I made this statement about four weeks ago. Wake Forest is scoring 50 every week for the rest of the season. If you can score 50, you can keep up, you can beat them. If you can't, you ain't. That's it. North Carolina, Scored 58. They won. That's it. If you don't score 50, you can't win, which means you take every over there is 
because no books on the planet have the balls to put a triple digit over out there. <laughs> they don't have it. <laughs> I've been, been raking in tickets on Wake Forest over. I and do like just it. team totals. It's just the whole damn thing. I, I do if like the it. other team doesn't score, Wake scores 70. And it's fine. He's still busting. Yeah, okay. Okay, I can get down with it. I can get down with it. Most to gain this weekend, I've got Baylor written down, and I've got yep. winner of A&M and Ole Miss written down. Um, uh, I don't know that Ole Miss has a lot to gain. What do they have to gain? I mean, this is a big program builder. Um, program builder, you know, all right. Like, as far sure. as – but but also, it keeps them in the SEC title hunt. Is it out of the realm of possibilities that Alabama loses Arkansas and Auburn? Like, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then they need Auburn. Then they would need Auburn to lose another game. See, that's the problem. Yeah, Auburn doesn't. Play, the math doesn't work out. They cannot. I don't think they can win it at all because I think in order for you to lose it, Arkansas takes it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You got a point there. You got I don't a point. Think the that's, math works. That's uh, that's interesting. So My for a And M, every week is big. Yeah, I, I would tell you a game where it's big, and I don't think they can win the game. But I don't think it matters. I think a team can can absolutely be the winner of the weekend if Tennessee can play a big boy game against Georgia and put a scare in Georgia and show some crack in what has been the most dominant team of the season by far. By the way, I think I think that goes a long way with people looking at Tennessee saying, "Whoa." Look out for the future. That that is one of People those buying program stock builders. In that program yeah. will be big, even in a wall. I can get down with it. It's a very much the Ole Miss thing, right? Like it may not mean anything as far as the outcome of the actual season. But I think Ole Miss is past. I, I think Ole Miss is past moral victory. When you've had the season that they've had this year, moral victories does nothing to them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can get down with that. I can get down so. with that. Let's see, as far as most to lose, I think I would put this team on most to gain or most to lose. South Carolina is sitting at five wins on the season. They uh, they are now in a pick em game with Missouri, and they win this, they're going to a bowl game in Shane Beamer's first year. I I feel like you, you almost have to get it done this week because next week they got Auburn, and the week after that they got Clemson. Now, they could certainly beat any of those teams if, if that team doesn't show up. Uh, they get both of them at home. But if you want your best shot to win a game, I think it's got to be against Missouri. So uh, this team is most to gain and most to lose. Because it, if you want to go bowling, you better get this and done. Uh, the team that might have most to lose, I think, is pretty clear cut. And that is Ohio State. Okay, okay. Uh, if they win out, they go. But if they lose because they lost to Oregon, if they lose at all, they're done. Yeah, I mean, this, this would, is a game where they can absolutely get got. Yeah, a, a loss to Purdue does nothing to their Big Ten hopes, right? They, You beat Michigan State, you beat Michigan the next two weeks, you end up winning the Big Ten East. And then you're going and facing probably Wisconsin. Is from that the West. done? Wait uh, a minute. Is that done? Even if, even if they lose to Purdue? Well, yeah. I guess that would only give them one. Yeah, they one, one conference off. Yep. So, but it takes them out of the national championship race, though. Exactly, it certainly does. It certainly does, and I think that's what they're like. They are most interested in that. Like this team, well, yeah. it, the the goal is not the Big Ten. The goal is. I didn't national realize conference. that they still win the Big Ten, but I forgot that that Oregon game doesn't count against their conference. Yep. Yep. Show sure enough. Playoff sleeper this week. I'm gonna actually start bringing up Oklahoma State here. Uh, they got TCU, they got Texas Tech left, and then you've got Oklahoma to close out the season, and then probably a rematch with Oklahoma. But obviously, well, no, don't they? they don't just be penciling that shit in. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Oklahoma I'm not, loses to Baylor, and they but they would have to lose to Baylor, and Baylor would have to win out. Okay, but look at Baylor's schedule going up, finishing up. Are yeah, they, they not win out. They beat Oklahoma. I mean, they certainly could. They certainly could. Oklahoma's in a dogfight against Kansas. You're going to give them the nod over Baylor? And and Oklahoma still got Iowa State left. So, yeah. I mean, Oklahoma is favored this weekend. Like, uh, the the most likely projections would have... I'm tired, I'm tired of hearing people talk about, well, this team's favored, and that's why 
we have to do this stuff. Because that's the justification. That's the only justification for Bama being number two in the country. Well, they'd be a 14-point favorite over Cincinnati, <laughs> so we have to have them favored. You know what? We bet this game long enough to know that what numbers a, a, a book gives somebody is completely irrelevant to the outcome of the game. This is true. And the outcome has to matter. Like, that's it, it has to. Like, we, we've talked about this I'm multiple so, times. I'm so tired of that argument. And now, at, at the same time, I am just talking about the, the most likely. It, Oklahoma has not lost yet. They've still got Baylor, Iowa State, and Oklahoma State left. Uh, they would have to lose two of those. And the way that they've been playing with Caleb Williams, like, I think but they're if, still a really good football team. You're, you're talking about the hyperbole that if they win out, or if they get – sorry, if, if Oklahoma State beats them, then Oklahoma State would just meet them. And that's a, so you're just assuming they win this week because that means if they lose this week and Oklahoma State beats them, that's the two losses. Right, that's two losses. That would be a win over – And then they would have the, – they would lose the tiebreakers against those two teams. Let's see. Baylor – In your hypothetical – Baylor has, let's see, hold on, Kansas Oh, Kansas State and Texas Tech. So, no, I, I know where you're coming yeah. from. Like, I, I get where you're coming from. I don't think you do, but that's we can move on. It's fine. <laughs> there are no more sleepers anymore because we know what everybody is now. You can't have a sleeper at the end of the year. We have two weeks left of college football. Like, how, yeah. how do we have a sleeper with two weeks to go? Well, I mean, they're, they're ranked number 10, Oklahoma State is. So, that's I think it would sleeper. shock some people uh, for them to actually jump up and take one of those spots. But it would only shock them because it would take a massive amount of chaos for that to happen. Yeah. The I chaos agree. would shock people. Not not seeing the number ten jump up to number four. Yeah. That's okay. what would shock people. Okay, that, that would totally make sense. That would make sense. 